Good evening, DeSoto Families. This is Assistant Superintendent Dorian Dow. I'm here with fifth grade teacher from Vineland, Lena Richardson, and we are going to walk you through our final Facebook Live parent training. Tonight we're going to talk about software subscriptions. We have three programs that we're going to walk you through. The first one is iStation. Getting to iStation on a super student Chromebook is super easy. You just click on the launcher tray here, expand that if you don't see it, and click on this icon. Now, the first time that they log in, if they've not used iStation on this device before, they might be asked to find their domain. Please. And so in this case, they just need to start typing their school, selecting it, and it will remember that uh, after you do it once. They log in. And it will take them to their home screen. iStation is our uh, friend. Test your knowledge and practice your math skills. iStation is our benchmarking tool. Uh, we use this to check reading and math abilities in grades K through 8. It also pairs. Um, these reading assessments and math assessments with responsive instruction, which will help students continue to progress. So when they log in, they'll click on either reading with ICIP or math with ICIP, and that Welcome will take them. Back. Let's pick up where we left off. You are approaching an asteroid shower in the vocabulary territory. In this mission, the onboard navigation system will ask you vocabulary questions. For each question, you will blast the asteroid, which is most similar in meaning to the item at the top of the screen. If you want to hear the question again, click the repeat icon. If you want to hear an answer choice read aloud, move your cursor over that asteroid. Click on the next button to start. So you can see it's very student friendly, very easy to use, provides embedded instruction. Over here, our math is very similar. And then based on that, when they complete these, they would receive practice assignments. Uh, currently, we don't have any schedule because this is a demo, but that is where they would go to access it. It's really that easy. Okay, so as you can see, iStation is super simple to use. Uh, the next one that we want to show you um, to you is USA Test Prep. When you or your student logs into USA Test Prep, this is the home screen that they'll come to. As you can see, there are a variety of assignments already in here, but students might want to work on just particular classes assignments. So here you can select the class that you want to be working in. For today's purposes, we're going to use this training group. And as you can see, I've assigned our test student um, a beginning of the year pretest. So when they come in, they just simply click begin, get a brief introduction to what it is, and they begin their assignment. So you can see here there are different resources that will help them ensure they complete the assignment correctly. So these are different just kind of calculation questions. They can even use these test taking strategy tools right here to say, OK, I know for a fact that one's not correct. They can also have uh, the test read to them. They can utilize calculators and graphing calculators if they've been permitted by the teachers. Um, based on how they set the assessment up. There's a formula reference sheet and a highlighting tool which can help highlight key information uh, within either a passage or within a problem. It does provide um, a counter, but if the teacher did not set a time limit on it, then that's just really for curiosity's sake. 
Across the top, you'll notice additional tabs. So these are the normal kind of test taking questions for math. In this case, they're kind of more computation, but there might be some additional performance tasks that they are going to be asked to do. And then of course, how much that is worth. So as you can see, the directions are here and they are interactive. So for this one, the student would click and drag and drop based on whichever point was the solution for that system of equations. And then they can either save it to complete later or they can move on to the next part, which toggles them through. When they're finished, they can submit their answers and receive feedback from that assessment. Back on the home screen, there's a reminder that they've started something but they haven't finished. Um, and if they haven't saved along the way, they can lose their progress. It's really very easy to then work through these different tabs. Uh, here they'll see what assignments they have completed and received grades on. They can even dig into those assessment and practice results. Messages um, from the teacher will come here. And then any badges that they've earned uh, will be here. Those are kind of just a little way to say, hey, you're doing it um, and you're moving along and you're doing a great job. Students can also participate in practice on their own. So up at the practice tab, you can see we've been working on Algebra 1. So within this, each of these different concepts or learning targets, students can watch a video, they can practice with vocabulary, they can do some practice questions and formative assessments and play some games. Uh, it will also provide uh, additional tools at the top and um, give them progress along the way as far as how they're doing on it. And now I'm going to pass the mouse over to Mrs. Richardson and she is going to show you how to access MobyMax. Good evening. So we're going to start off MobyMax by going to your buildings um, link on the district website. You can see here I'm on Vineland. And up on the top, there are tabs that fall down. For students is where you're going to want to go. And then you're going to see MobyMax. You're going to click on that. And it's going to bring you to this screen here. Um, one of the things you want to make sure that you're doing is signing into your correct school. So you can either type your school's name. So I'll type Vineland. And you want to make sure you correct, click the correct one. So you can see here there's three for Vineland. Or if you know your school code, you can type it in. So Vineland is MO2239. So either way works. If you have your code, great. If not, you can also search. So then I'm going to click Go. And I'm going to sign in with my username, which is the same as my Google login. And our password is capital D lowercase s, followed by your student's lunch pin. And then we click Sign In. And it'll greet you with some sort of hello with your name. Um, I have a, an assignment here, so it pops straight to this. Um, I have a little one notification, like any kind of notification you get on your phone. And so this is an assignment that my teacher has assigned me, and I have a due date of Thursday, September 3rd. Um, so if I'm this student, I can click here, and it'll tell me a little bit about what I'm doing in language. And this is, these are the standards or the key points that I'm going to be learning about. Then I click and click, click on the click coordinating conjunction in the sentence me. below. Um, Victoria and, and her cousin back. Alex so want to go to the. I keep clicking. If I don't select an answer, I get an oops. So that's one nice thing where it won't let me go on. So that's if I have an assignment. I can also go to the home page, which is this bookshelf, is that I refer to it. And these are all of the options of the different skills. Um, so myself, I teach writing, which includes language. So this is where I focus um, my students when they're with me. So I could click language and the students um, have a placement test to start off with. Kind of give, gives us a benchmark for where they begin. After they finish that placement test, it'll have other topics that they can practice. And then they just click the Today, we'll arrow. start with your placement test. Um, this is important. You'll want to focus practice. and try your hard. The nice thing about Moby Max is it's got math, it's got language, it's got social studies, science, phonics. So it's a K through 8 program that allows kids to 
practice specific skills, um, even besides what their teachers are assigning them. Um, this third little bubble, um, these are some incentives for the kids. Um, there's games. However, the nice thing about Moby Max is you can see here, I don't have any game time because I have not spent enough time working on my skills. So I have to work for 25 minutes in any subject before I can get any game time. And then it limits the amount of game time um, that I can play. Teachers have the ability to give students game time um, as a reward or just a starter um, for games. So that's the nice thing. They can't just get on and play games without doing their lessons. So it's not a free-for-all to waste time. They can earn badges. Um, again, I don't have any yet, but they're fun little badges that um, keep adding up certificates, help um, keep track of what lessons that you have passed. Um, progress, the kids can see progress. You can see here I'm working on identifying coordinating conjunctions in the different subjects. Um, this one here, if you have announcements or tasks from your teacher, um, and they can also have a little bit of fun making your own Moby Max. So Moby Max can be a place where assignments are given or students can go in and just get some extra practice in areas of struggle. Um, this second tab here will always be where to look if your student has an assignment. So it's always good to check there. Um, and then check those due dates and you can see the progress of your students. So that's a quick, simple rundown of Moby Max. It's super user friendly. Um, so I hope these videos helped you guys and I know I speak for myself and all the teachers. We are looking forward to seeing your smiling faces on Monday. Have a great night.